Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and today I'm here to show you how I made the pinwheel tower card that I shared as part of the Share It Sunday blog hop today. This is a card that you're going to look at and go, oh gosh, that looks so complicated. I don't think I can make this card. But really, it's actually easy. Um, once you've got your pieces cut, um, it goes together very quickly and you're going to wow anybody who receives this. And the really cool part of the this particular size of card is that it fits into a standard envelope and will grow for a regular with just a regular postage stamp on it. There are some of these cards that are bigger and won't fit into a standard envelope, but this one, the size is perfect and it does fit into your standard envelope. So let me switch over to my desktop and we'll get started. Okay, so here's the card. Now, this is the reason why it's called a pinwheel tower card because it does look like a pinwheel, but it folds flat, like I said, to go into a standard envelope. Um, and I've just alternated the designer series paper. Now you can use all different designer series paper. You can use, you know, one on this one, you know, two different patterns and alternate them. Up to you what you do. I actually have used the same designer series paper on each of the sides of the pinwheel. And then on the three sides, I've used the same on this one. And then I've stamped a sentiment on one side. Now this is using the elegantly said stamp set from Stampin' Up, as well as the um, Simply Elegant. Sorry, it slipped my mind. Slip, simply Elegant. I get this always mixed up because the stamp set's different. So the stamp set is elegantly said, and the, the designer series paper is Simply Elegant. And this is a, a product collection that really wasn't on my radar, but oh my gosh, this paper is absolutely stunning. So I've used a couple of pieces. This is my favorite and it's uh, basic gray, basic black and very vanilla leaves. But the other side is also stunning and I've made a card using it that I will show you. Um, and the opposite side, so one side is, is just these you know regular images and on the other side of it is they have um, either silver gold or copper or combinations of them foil embedded in you probably oh, there we go as you can kind of see the shine to that it is just absolutely stunning and then this one is a very vanilla gold with a black so it's got the gold foil on this one and then the other side is this kind of paisley with the basic gray it's really pretty paper you're just going to love it when you see it okay so all of the measurements and written instructions for my card are on my blog and the link to my blog is under the video. So I will give you the measurements, but in case you miss them, you can go out to my blog and, and get them. So you're gonna start with a piece. I'm using basic black, but your, your basic card stock piece that you're gonna use is four and a quarter by five and three quarters. And you're going to score it along the five and three quarter side. You're gonna score it at three quarters of an inch, one and a quarter, sorry, one and a half. Oh, I did that wrong, that's okay. So one, three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three. My little goof up will be hidden inside, so that's okay. So again, Cut it at four and a quarter by five and three quarters and score it at, over. score it at three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter and three inches. And you're gonna take your bone folder and just fold on each of those score lines. This is going to create kind of the, the structure for your cards. So if you just fold on each of these score lines, give it a really good crease with your bone folder. Let's get the right score line. There we go. All right. So then these, this just kind of folds in on itself to form this inside box and we're going to adhere it. Now, I'm gonna use the multi-purpose adhesive glue. I just find on this card, I don't always use it, but on this card, it gives you just that little bit of extra wiggle room so that 
you can um, move your pieces around. So basically, I'm just going to kind of, I've tucked that in on itself, and I'm going to fold it flat. Give it a really good press to make sure it adheres. And now I've got the basic structure of my pinwheel. So that's the first piece that you need to do. Then you need three pieces of, I'm again, basic black. So whatever color your card base is, and these pieces are cut one, uh, four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Now what you wanna do is on this fold here that is next to, we're gonna put the sides. These are gonna form all of the sides of your pinwheel. So you want to adhere this to this flap here. So you can just kind of lay this flat, add your adhesive, and then you want to tuck this right up against that, that side. Make sure the edges are even. There we go. And just give it a good press. And you're going to repeat this all the way around. And the great thing is your, your card will just fold flat that will allow you to, to do that. Again, adhesive. Line that up with that folded edge, that score line. Give it a good press. And turn it for the last one. Grab that. There we go. That's a nice part about the multi-purpose adhesive glue. That was not quite, kind of had a bit of a funny angle on it. And you can just kind of move it around. It's a little for more forgiving than the stamp and seal and definitely more forgiving than, than tear and tape adhesive. All right. Got that one tucked in a little bit more. All right, I think it'll still work. Okay. Give it a good crease, smooth things around. So now I've got my basic shape. This is my pinwheel. Now you could you could have a, put all your designer series paper on before, but I find it's just as easy to get your shape together and then um, and then decorate it. So now it's just a matter of you now you could use. I'm just going to continue on with the multi-purpose adhesive glue on this. You could use your tear or your uh, stamp and seal on these. So you've got the larger pieces. These are you need four pieces of designer series paper that are cut four inches by two and a half. And these pieces fit on the, there are two sides to your, your pinwheel. One is the larger size and then the one a little slightly smaller. So these pieces of designer series paper that are cut four inches uh, by two and a half will go on the larger flats. Just adhere these down and see how quickly this goes together, um, even though you think it's going to be really hard to do. But one more, and one more. There we go. So that's, that's that side. Now I've got three pieces of designer series paper that are cut one and three quarters by four inches and therefore the other side, and I'm only using three because I'm going to stamp on one side so that it gives you a place to put your sentiment. Slipped. There we go. Get you. And then the last piece. Right like that. Okay. So now I've got my designer series paper on three pieces that's left one side to decorate. So I've got a piece of uh, very vanilla 
cardstock. And again, it's one and three quarters by four inches. And I'm going to use um, Memento, Tuxedo Black Memento. And I'm going to use this long stamp here just to create an edge and then a thank you sentiment. So just going to make sh put this, line it up with the grid paper so that I can kind of make sure I'm straight. Stamp down. And then I've got the thank you. Now, one of the tricks with a sentiment is sometimes the labels don't go on particularly straight if you're like me. And so just use your grid paper to see if you're going to, how, how it's going to, to um, stamp. And that way you can, you know, adjust it a little bit before you, you uh, put it on your piece of cardstock and realize that it's not very straight. So if you're like me, that's happened to you. All right, so I'm just gonna use my adhesive again. Getting better with the, the multi-purpose adhesive glue. I still get some glue on my fingers. I used to be really bad and get glue all over the place, and I, so I didn't like it very much, but I've got much better. The trick is not to put too much on. Okay, so the last part of my card is I'm going to use, this is the Simply Elegant trim, and you get two rolls of the trim in silver and gold. I'm gonna use the gold on this one. And just gonna wrap this around. Not gonna cut it off quite yet. So it's a tip for you is to don't cut the one end off. That way you are not wasting more than you need to. So I'm gonna tie a bow. The trim, we're gonna use a glue dot to hold this in place because I find this trim wants to come undone. Um, and so just by putting a glue dot with my take your pick tool will hold this in place and prevent it from kind of coming undone. And then you can take and oops, trim, trim your ends off. Like that, and then you can kind of fuss with it how, how long you want your your ends of your bow. But that's the card. See how quick and easy that was to make? I mean, it takes a little bit to get it put together, but the actual construction of your card base to make the pinwheel is very quick. Now, let me show you another one. This is another one that I made, and I used a different side of the designer series paper. Isn't this pretty? With This one's got the silver and gold. I've done the same design, same exact design, um, and I just alternated this one, but just a really pretty, um, no matter what you use of this paper, it, it is so pretty. All right. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you try it, because as I said, it's really not that hard to do. Um, and if you have any questions as you're making the card, you can post them underneath this video or you can post them on my blog. The link to my blog, as I said, with all of the written instructions, measurements and the supply list for this card is underneath this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If uh, this is the first time you found me on YouTube, welcome. And uh, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. If it's not the first time and you've come back, thank you so much for joining me again. If you haven't taken the time to subscribe, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button underneath the video. That way you'll get notified when I post upcoming videos. So I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Happy stamping.